You know how frustrating it can be when your clients cannot understand or visualize your design concepts, right? Even though you've given swatches, drawings, mood boards, and you've used software like AutoCAD and SketchUp, and you've tried to make sure they understand what they are approving. Well, Duke Renders has the answer for that. They offer 100% accurate, do-it-for-you 3D renderings that present your designs in their entirety. This way, you can make sure that your client fully understands and visualizes your design before execution. This saves you headaches. This saves you time. This saves you money. It saves you that back and forth. Do you want to learn how you can start saving these headaches? Well, book a quick intro call to start getting your designs in beautiful photorealistic renderings. Go to dukerenders.com forward slash Luann and you will get 30% off your first order. That's dukerenders.com forward slash Luann. Do this now. Just book the call now and see what's going on over there because this offer is valid for just this week. Welcome to A Well-Designed Business. My name is Luann Nigara, and I'm so glad you found this podcast. Together with my husband, Vince, and our partner, Bill, we have grown our company, Window Works, from the ground up. So I know and I understand the challenges you face in running your interior design business. I also know that your talent alone isn't enough to ensure your success. So on this podcast, we talk about strategies and practical steps to help you grow your business. But make no mistake about it. We have our share of fun here too, mixed in with those aha moments that I love so much. This isn't fluff. Nobody has time for that. Whether you are a new interior designer or a seasoned designer, I am here to help you create and to manage the kind of interior design firm that you dream of. It's straight talk and it's action. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, welcome to a well-designed business. It's Power Talk Friday. I don't think I have to tell you that in our industry, high point market is one of the biggest must do's on your list. And maybe you have not made it a priority to go. Well, today my guests and I are going to try to change your mind about that. You know, High Point is the place to buy furniture, right? It is. But if that's all you think it is, then you're missing out on something very special. Of course, it is the world's largest home furnishings trade show in the world. World's largest equals in the world. <laughs> but there are so many other opportunities at High Point that will help you and your business grow in ways you probably could not have imagined until you've been there. My guest today, Tammy Nagum, is the president and the CEO of the High Point Market Authority. Now, you I know that you, as an interior designer, have lots of details when it comes to planning, organizing, and managing your projects. But I think Tammy might be about the only person who has more on her plate. Tammy oversees the strategic business development of High Point Market, the marketing communications for the entire event, and the incredible operations team that makes the whole event happen. Tammy and her team manage every bit of the logistics for the 75,000 plus worldwide visitors to High Point Market every single spring and fall. Just sit with that for a moment. What the actual is all I can say. I mean, think about it. If you've ever had a party for 100 people, let alone 75,000 people, right? Now, before we learn from Tammy about the tours, the insights, and the opportunities that they put together for us at High Point Market, I want to let you know that if you are listening in real time, summer 2024, that this High Point in the fall, October, I already have five panel discussions lined up. First is my collaboration with Duke Renders and Fazy, Tom Felicia and Corey Damon Jenkins. Yes, all four of those people got your attention, don't I? Right? Duke Renders is putting together a 3D virtual reality designer show house where Tom is going to design one version of the home and Corey Damon is going to design his own version of the home. And then we get to put on those crazy VR, AR goggles, whatever they're called, and literally walk through their designs and feel like you're in the space. 
So on Saturday, the 26th, I will interview Tom at Fazy about his process and the experience of designing this virtual 3D home. And then on Sunday, I will be back at Fazy and I will interview Corey Damon on his experience. All of this is co-hosted by Fazy and Duke Renders. Now, as we get to closer to market, I'll tell you about the other four panels that we have lined up. If you're on my email list, you'll be the first one to know, and you'll know where to get the RSVP link links. All right, so let's meet Tammy and learn all the ins and outs of what High Point can do for you and your business. Hey, Tammy, thanks so much for joining me on a well-designed business today. Hi, Luann. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, I'm. this is going to be fun. I'm you know, I'm like, you know, I said when you first got on thing, I'm like, oh my God, I'm talking to Tammy from the High Point Market Authority. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so glad that was your reaction. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know you have a stellar team, but it is kind of like, this is the Oz behind the curtain here. I mean, this is no normal event that I somebody know. pulls off, right? Um, come on. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, coordinating the Super Bowl twice it a year, is. right? The Super and Bowl that's the thing. design. It's twice yeah. a year. Absolutely. Actually. Twice a year. They have yeah. a whole year to figure it out. Absolutely. I mean, I could do that with my hands tied behind my back, right? <laughs> totally good. <laughs> you know, that's a really funny thing because. I know when I've been with designers and one designer is saying to another, should I go to High Point? Is it really worth it? And I've heard people say, it's like the Super Bowl for design, yes. but I never thought about it from your standpoint, organizing it. Yeah. It's like 75 to 100,000 interior designers, right. vendors, people like me, educators and everything descending on you for like five days. Like absolutely, and, and you know, two hundred and one football fields of showroom space. I mean, if we want to keep our football analogy going, but you know, High Point, the city, our population almost doubles twice yeah. a year. So just being able to accommodate, you know, uh, you know, working with ninety hotels, <laughs> three airports. You know, it's it's the logistic side of this that um, you know people. Uh, we all, our whole community rents out their homes and, yes. and we all get ready for market. Um, I think a lot of you who just come here twice a year don't realize how um, it is such in our DNA. Yes. You know, I can't go to the grocery store on any given day without having a conversation about April or October. Yeah. It, like, are it, they coming there? Just, are you do. exhausted? They're gone. It, now you exactly. get ready. They're coming. <laughs> exactly. It's what we do. Absolutely. Well, and it's so funny because there's two ahas that I had at the very first couple of times I went to High Point. The one aha, I was there. I think it was the first time I ever went to High Point. And I remember thinking, you know, I wanted something at like a CVS. I don't know if I probably band aids for crying right. out loud, right? But, and there's like, and I'm like, wait, there's no CVSs. There's no Walgreens. I'm like, there's actually no stores, no restaurants. And I was like, where do all these people eat and do things? <laughs> and that's when somebody said, oh, no, this is ghost town for the other months. Like, like, And I was like, wait, what are you talking about now? Right. Like, I, it was the first time that I realized that the showrooms actually are most now i know we've got jane dagmy who's sure. working on bringing it year round and you know shout out to her ray but like i'm going back eight nine years ago sure. when it was like not even a thought i i shouldn't say that i don't know maybe she's had a thought yeah. forever but like it's nuts that it's all of this for two weeks of, i know you have buyers and things in the week before yeah, but the but big no, push is you're yeah. you're exactly right i mean we are um we are a city that that really concentrates on that event twice a year and and you're right in the showroom district in this 13 block radius there are no walgreens like yeah we do have them in our we city do? and we I've can get you there. Them. Yeah, no, we do. We have all that normal stuff, Luann. It's all here. I promise you, we live, we live very well the other times of the year, but in the showroom district, because we want to keep that as, as close mm. for you all as possible, you know, mm. you want to keep those, um, that there aren't a lot of other things that, that pop up in this district because it's, uh, you know, that's, 
um, that's where our showrooms yeah. live. Yeah. And so you're right. It's, uh, you know, there uh, for, for many years, um, for probably 40 plus years, showrooms have been opening up in between markets to the trade. I mean, there, there have been, um, there used to be a showroom association and okay. now there's high point by design, um, that, that works with, um, folks year round that, that may want to be open, but by and large, yeah. As far as the event itself, that high point market um, piece of it that we talk about, um, yeah, it's it's April and October and it's showtime for us. It is crazy. It is crazy. I mean, I literally, I was like, I don't understand. It's like a Disney set. Like, there's yeah. nothing here but furniture. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is yeah. a fake town. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and the other observation that I've noticed from the very first visit of High Point um, is how welcoming and friendly the people are. And then one gentleman, I was, I have to tell you this one story. Yeah. I was first time coming there and I am now going to take the shuttle bus to one of the airports back out. Like you'd like, again, the coordination, like take a free shuttle bus to the airport. I'm like, wait, I'm from Jersey. It's free. Like, wait, come on. What's the catch? Like, what's the catch? What I got to do? You know, you mean first more? Like, come on. Right. And so they're like, no, here's no little lady. You just go over there in that line and you just line up over there and yet that bus will take you like that. I was like, it will. Okay. So the thing is, they tell me what line to get in all the way to the big bus ports are. Yeah, yeah. And I'm in, I think in the line, I think I'm in the right spot and the buses are coming and I'm looking for the specific number that I'm supposed to get. And now it's like a good 15 or 20 minutes. And I'm like, okay. Like if I were in Jersey, I would have given it four minutes. I'm like, where's the right. darn bus that you told me about? But right. I'm like, you know what? They're nice here. I'm on my way out of town. There were nice people. Just right. relax. The bus is coming. Quick is different in New Jersey than it is in the yes. South. Let yes. it all go. But it's like 15 or 20 minutes. And now I'm getting concerned. Like, am I actually going to make the whole make thing? Mm-hmm. So I go over to the gentleman and I said, excuse me, sir. I said, um, I was looking for the bus to such and such, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, that pulled out of here like 10 or 15 minutes ago. And I was like, oh, I, I missed it. He goes, oh, don't you worry. Come with me. He walks me across the thing. He goes to a little shuttle bus. He goes, would you take this little lady over to like Charlotte Airport or whatever it was? And I was like, wait, just me? He's like, yeah. I'm like, wait. No, you don't want me to wait for another bus? He's like, well, he'd love to take. He goes, don't you want to take her, Joe? And he's like, sure. And I'm like, what? alter universe that I just walk into and yes. you know and I'm on the bus and of course it's the two of us and he's gonna yeah, start chatting exactly. and that's when I learned that all of the people doing the badge scans are all the people that are local that live yeah. and I'm like well no wonder you're all so darn nice right but I got home I told my husband he's like wait what happened <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, and um, I love to hear that because we work very hard on that guest yeah. experience piece. We want Ew. to make sure that, you know, the logistics of this, uh, we're spread out market. We know that this is not your standard trade show. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, the way we, we um, plan for that is that you don't have to think about those things. It's true. So that we just sort of kind of seal up any of those gaps. If you miss a bus, we've thought of that. So yeah. we have, we have a way to get you around. It's um, crazy. It's and crazy. so making sure that that guest experience piece from beginning to end, um, is, is well thought through. We hope from the minute you decide to come to high point until the day that, that, uh, you get back home, yeah. that we've, uh, produced an event that, was productive and that you enjoyed and that you plan on coming back. Yeah, it's true. And I, and it, and the thing is, it does extend down to the culture of the people that yes. you do engage to be our guides and our helps. Because yes. even the last market I was at, <clears throat> I was at the steel building um, meeting with the Kravit team and I came out and it was like an off night. I might've been a third, I think it was a Thursday night cause we were yeah. doing a video shoot there before sure. market really started. And we come out, I come out of there. It's like six thirty, seven o'clock at night yeah. and I'm calling and my house that I stay in is in my house. It feels like my house cause Your I've house. stayed there for eight years now. Right. <laughs> and, um, it's all the way out in Trinity. So yeah. it's not on your regular route thing. Sure. And I call the lift yeah. and two or three lifts in a row say they're coming and then cancel. And there was a security guard 
standing there. And, you know, now after the, you know, I go outside and I come back in because it's hot. He's like, what's going on? And I said, well, the lifts keep saying they're coming, but I guess they don't want to go all the way out to Trinity. And he looks at me and he goes, well, you know, it's 630. I get done here in about a half hour. He goes, I'll I'll ride you out. And I'm like, if I was in New Jersey, I'm like, be sure you are an ax murderer right now. I'm like, come on, you're going to drive me to Trinity. (laughs) And he's like, well, how is he going to get there? And I'm like, all right, well, I'll try it one more time, but I might have to take you up on it. <laughs> I love this. That's what we're all about, though, Luann. I mean, so that's, true. you know, um, I, and, you know, you said it's your house. Um, at, yes. And you are our you are our guests. And, you know, our local folk, folks really feel that connection to yeah. this industry. And yeah. so we're never going to let you, you know, sit no. there and not know how you're going to get back to Trinity. So, um, <laughs> I'm glad to hear those things. That's it is. good. It is. It's very special. Yes. Um, and you know, what's nice about it is, you know, for any designer, look, you're a seasoned designer, you come yep. in, you know, the game and all the things, but you know, I have had lesser, you know, lesser season, newer designers yes. say, I'm not sure about traveling there by myself. Yeah. I'm like, here's the thing. You're in a, you're in a city, you're by, if you're, you always have to keep your wits, wits about you. Like sure. you'll just like say, you know, whatever, you know, not in a bubble. I said, but that's not your situation. That's, that's not, you know, be smart. Don't be dumb. But you're going to feel the hospitality of this community and of you guys, everybody that works there. And then what you guys do, your team, Tammy, and you to help a new designer, whether that new designer is 20 or 50, come in and navigate market. Because you do think that it's not like, oh, I have to wait till I have this many years as a designer to go to high point, right? That's like, that's a fallacy. Absolutely. We want designers early in their career to be thinking about the resources that they can access while here. Um, And we're, and you know, this starts um, much to your comment, this starts when they first start thinking about it. So you go onto our website, you read what you need to do to qualify. Um, You know, each new designer gets uh, two calls from us. We're going to help you get the documents that you need to us so that we can qualify you to get that buyer pass, which is very important. You're walking into those showrooms. We want you to make sure you have the right badge on. Um, And then we're going to follow up with a call and an email just to make sure you know how to plan. Here's the website. Here's the app. Here's how you get a hotel. Here's the airports. Here's the shoes you wear. Here's the weather. All, you know, uh, if you, we say, welcome to North Carolina. If you don't like the weather, just wait a minute. Um, So we want to make sure that you've, you know, that, that, that those designers are comfortable their first time coming here. Mm -hmm. Um, When they come here for the first time, we also have a lot of resources that can help them um, navigate. We have an area that we call the point. It's a a structure we build in Commerce Avenue where we have market advisors who can sit down and help them make a plan. Mm -hmm. If they didn't get to do that before they come to market, because first timers, um, what we want to avoid is them, Um, not being productive Um, in a market this spread out. If you haven't made a plan before you come here, you do what we call the ping pong, you know, you get on the bus and you go here and then you realize that the next stop that's on your list is actually three blocks in the other direction. And so making sure that you've made a plan, um, whether you're shopping by product category or style or, or uh, maybe you have a, a, a client that you're specifically doing work for, um, you know, we want to make sure that we're able to connect you with those resources and that you're able to find what you need while you're here. Yeah. Um, we hope you do that before you, you leave home. But if you don't, um, uh, we're going to do the things. And then, and then the logistics, as you mentioned, the transportation, the information booths, the, the tours, the seminars, all those things we hope just help undergird that visit and, and make it that much more productive. Yes. I, I have to say, I have said to designers before, it's, it's like you've heard about Disneyland your whole life and right. you know that you want to get on the Tinkerbell ride or whatever that is, <laughs> whatever, whatever right. silly ride you want to go on. Right. Right. 
but you don't figure out where the Tinkerbell ride is first. And right. you, you just figure it's going to be obvious and you're just going to get there. And the next thing you know, your three day pass is gone and you're heading home and you're like, I never found Tinkerbell. Never, yes. And it's just like, I looked everywhere, but I didn't find her. You know what right. I mean? Right. Or worse, you get home and somebody says, did you do like, you know, I don't know, Space Mountain. And you're like, right. what's Space right. Mountain? I didn't right. know I needed to do so. Right. I love roller coasters. Right. Right. And so the thing is, is having that plan is helpful. I'm curious, you mentioned, I didn't know at the point that you have the advisors to help mm-hmm. designers. They don't yeah. have to be a first time designer. It could just be somebody that's never, or just, I could be there 10 times and I need to know a certain thing, right? Like, Absolutely. Or you're shopping for something different right. or you've, um, you know, your, your business has changed or you, um, you know, you're, you're now stocking product maybe, and you weren't before. So there are a lot of things that, that we can help with there yeah. and having somebody, I don't know, I, you know, um, I am terrible with direction and my friends always laugh at me when I'm driving and I'm not really sure where I am. I always say, I need a confirmation sign. Like <laughs> I need to pass a road sign that gives me the number of what I'm on. Now, GPS has changed that a lot over the years. I'm dating myself here, but sometimes you just need that confirmation yeah. sign. Like sometimes yeah. I just need for somebody another human being to look at me and say, yes, this is, this is where you need to go. Yes. Um, it's why we put um, hosts and hostesses on our downtown showroom shuttles. Mm. So the shuttles that actually move people through the market district, we almost have little tour guides on mm. those buses that announce the stops. Because if I were to come to your home in New Jersey, if I were to um, be that brave Luann, <laughs> and I'm to take public transportation my biggest fear is that I'm not going to know when to get off and I'm going to end up somewhere I don't want to be and I don't know how to get back. And I, so we want to take all of that guesswork out. So when you board that bus, there's someone who looks at you and says, welcome on to the red line. We're heading up to Hamilton Wren. Um, Where are you looking to get off? Right. And it's, and then someone looks at you and nods their head and says, okay, I'll make sure I'll let you know when stop 19 comes up, I'll let you know. (laughs) And so you just automatically go, okay, there's my confirmation sign. Like now I feel okay about doing this. And and I feel good about moving around, which is so important at a market like yes, this. Yes. We really want people to take the time to get out and, and see maybe some things that they haven't seen. And whatever we can do to help facilitate that, we want to mm. make sure we do. Well, and I, what I like the idea about the 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 advisors that you have set up at the point there is because yes, if I'm brand new and I didn't get a buddy and I didn't get on a tour, which we'll talk about in a few moments, I'm sure. Um, if I actually landed, you know, in Oz and I don't know where the heck I am. Um, I love that because you can sit and ask some questions, but I also, to your point, I could be in design 10 or 15 years and maybe this year I'm going to add outdoor product. And Absolutely. I've never shopped for outdoor product at High Point. I've been here 20 times and I've never done this. Exactly. And do I need to walk in and out of every blasted building or do I need to look on the map and try and figure it out? Or can I sit down with an advisor and say, this is the, pr- now, is this a thing that they can do? Like if I am, you know, you, you know, you've got good, better, best, right? So if Absolutely. I'm an entry level designer, I, my clients are shopping me against the retail thing. So like right. what showrooms do I go to? Or I'm moving into luxury and I've previously done these types of projects, but now I've got a more discerning clientele and good enough isn't good enough. I need best. Absolutely. Do the advisors know that? Because I know the showrooms, you know, like I don't know which ones are which, Absolutely. but they are like that, right? We lean on the technology in that case, Luann. So okay. what we have are people who are very good at using the tools that that actually any of our buyers have access to. And what the, the advisors will do is sit down and sort of help you make your plan and walk you through these steps. So we're going to do it by category, by price point, by style, by bus stop, by building. And wow. so- and, and by the end, once you've walked through all of that, the plan is beautiful yeah. and you can actually add into it your events. So you, let's say you, you know, you want to go to something in the learning center at Universal and it's Tuesday afternoon. Well, let's put that in and then that helps us. Okay, we'll shop that area oh, on whoa. Tuesday afternoon. And so it can help you sort of make that plan 
um, and then it saves your plan. So then next market, if you want to remember what you did, you can go back in and see that and make changes and those sorts of things. Oh, We're constantly nice. making improvements to those because we really we really find that that is uh, the critical part of what we do is yeah. helping our exhibitors. It's, it's, it's about the buyer experience, but it's also about that meaningful connection between the exhibitor and the buyer. We're helping the exhibitor tell their story. They have a profile on that website so that you're able to make that decision. If you are a designer and you are sh looking for designer friendly showrooms, there's no need for you to add someone to your plan that's container only. Right. Okay. And so we want to make sure that we're lining you up for success and that, and you're getting to the people who um, have available product to sell to you the way you want to buy. Okay. And just for clarity, because eight years ago, I wouldn't have known what that meant. So yeah. container only for someone who might be new in the business is absolutely you got to go buy like a whole lot of furniture and you that's are right. buying that container that's coming from overseas absolutely. and bringing that furniture here. You get the whole thing. Absolutely. You yeah. are buying most likely to stock that product. So right, like at the highway sell, store or retail. A, ab, or absolutely. You're, you're probably in retail and you're, you're buying, um, you're buying that, that container. You're 40 right. dining room tables. Absolutely. Not a dining room table. Not a dining probably room table. Probably 400 dining room tables. Exactly. Exactly. In some Somebody cases. Has. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, cause that's good because I think that the thing is, if you are, if you've never been or you've been and it's been unsuccessful for you. Yes. It could be because like I, I liken it to I liken it to like if you walked into a mall yeah. and there's a Macy's and there's a Neiman's. Yes. And you are a Macy's customer and you walk into Neiman's and you're just like right. whoa what right. am I doing here? Like, right. this, is, this not is not where I, for. yeah, right. I want $80 pumps, not right. $8,000 pumps. Right. right. Yes. And, and, at, and the vice versa, you're right. walking into Neiman's and you know, you, you're looking for Neiman's, you walk into Macy's and you think, well, all of High Point doesn't have what I want because Absolutely. you know, every place I went was like a Macy's level shop. Right. right. And so that's why, it's important to make a plan, but I love that there's advisors on boots on the ground to help you do that. Because as you move, I, I have to say, I really feel like you move through your journey, right? Yeah. And you need to know what's the next reach, what's the next level of product. And maybe like you said, I went from designer discount to stocking dealer. And even if I am a one entity, I'm, where, can I, where can I make my purchases to right. get stocking dealer, right? These are all considerations, right? Right. Right. And I think market, there's, there's also other things that are, um, you know, things that we try to talk about, or we try to give exposure to on the website, but really until you get here, maybe you don't, it just doesn't click. Doesn't gel. Um, yeah, exactly. It, it, right. You kind of have to be in the middle of it. Like, for example, we would, we would encourage folks, um, especially designers who, Maybe you just want to spend your first half day sort of observing trends. Maybe you just kind of want to see what's new. And so sitting down with one of these advisors and saying, hey, look, I, I'm going to spend my first four hours just trying to get lay of the land. Where do you think I should go? You know, mm -hmm. we're going to send you to walk through inner hall. We're going to tell you about the salon. We might tell you about shop object. We're going to mm -hmm. we're going to tell you about the antique and design center, like some areas that you can go and just sort of spend some time walking the product and, yeah. and seeing what's here before maybe you go to your, you know, appointment at Century or before you um, really begin um you know, looking at that list of things you need for a specific, um, for a specific client. Um, and, and with that is going to be, um, you know, who do you, who do you want to meet? Who do you want to talk to? Who do you, um, a big part of what we feel like is here is, um, the storytelling, mm. you know, until you've really, um, maybe heard from Carrie at Kravit, about the product, yeah. um, before you've, um, you know, walked through the Bernhardt showroom and heard the story of, of how this product is developed. Um, you know, all those things, um, allow you to sell through to your customer in a yes. different way. Yes. 1000%. So you can get that here. You're going to get access to people who can, give you the story that helps 
you sell the product. Right, um, right. Because let's face it, I, I say all the time, I'm so glad I don't work for the tool show. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure I could get real excited about wrenches. I mean, maybe I could. I don't know. But we all have a love. It would be their, a well-run tool show. It would. Thank you, Moran. Exactly. But, I, you know, we all have such this love affair with our home. And yeah. I feel like COVID made that even stronger. Um, but we we love the product. We love the design. Um, and I think uh, the creatives, the designers who come here, um, that really resonates with them. And it's something you get in high point because you're able to, um, in some cases, meet the people who are doing the eight way hand tying of the, right. in the, of the sofas. And, um, you know, the family who has owned that furniture company for four generations. Um, and, and so whether you're a new designer, a returning designer, or someone who's been in the business for 40 years, that piece, um, I think never gets old. No, it doesn't because it's like uncovering a little treasure in a treasure yes. hunt. You yes. know, every once in a while you'll have that opportunity. You know, for me, I've had it with the interviews on the show. I can think yeah. of interviewing the CEO of Jay Poor and learning all yes. about, you know, the artists and programs and things that they do. And then other interviews like that where you really, you know, you, like the Kravitz, you know, where you right. are talking about that five generations. But then there are times then you're there at the showroom, like when I'm there to do a panel design, discussion. I always go 15, 20 minutes earlier, start, you know, to meet the people from right. that showroom that are run it. And, you know, I always ask people, why are you here? Like, like, right. if, you, usually there's some 25 year old, wonderful, amazing person that's like, hi, I'm your contact at your showroom here, you know, and I'm right. like, oh, I, you know, we emailed. Yes. I'm like, why do you work with this company? You know, like, and they're like, yeah. bah, 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 you know, and I right. love that. You know what I mean? Right. That's before we get to the show, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Kravit Inc. for sponsoring the show. Have you heard the majority of Kravit Inc. products are in stock and ready to ship within days? Yes. Order your favorite patterns from Kravit's exclusive in-stock collections. You can keep your interior design projects on track with Kravit Inc. Go to Kravit.com dot com today to set up an account. And I want you to jot down this code A W D B one zero. You can use this code for 10% off any one order of Kravit fabric wallpaper or trim when you order online. A W D B one zero. Go to Kravit.com today and get started. Fun thing. Yeah, we did a, a project um, last market with some local um, students, design students who were high school, um, actually oh, in a fun. high school design, and they did man on the street interviews, and they wanted to talk, and they were just walking up to people in the transportation terminal and asking the questions you just asked, Luann, like, why did you get in the business? You know, I'm new, and I'm interested in being in home furnishings. Tell me about... And you watched people, first of all, they're like, mm, camera, <laughs> microphone, not feeling good about this. But then someone started asking them that very question. Why do you work here? Why do you do this? What brought you to this? And you watch people's faces just sort of light up that they get to tell the story. Yeah, because yeah. Um, we, uh, you know, my dad worked for Bassett Furniture for 36 years. Oh, I wow. say I have sawdust in my veins. Um, and I think we all we sort of feel that whether, whether there's just an affinity to, yes. to this industry and, and market is where it kind of all comes together. Right. You know? It all coalesces together. Yes. It all yeah. Sells. Yeah. So one of the big components of market is whether you're new coming or like you said, you're redefining your brand and redefining your services. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to add a product line or something is the tours. Yes. So what is the deal? There are tours that are, that you can learn about from your website. Then there's other yes. people that just like, you know, start their own tours. Like, yeah. Wow. Like, so obviously we're going to think about going through your website. So we're some, what are some yes. of the tours that I don't want to say that, you know, I don't think the word is condoned, but the, that you partner with it, that you're aware of acknowledge what's the word I'm looking for. Right. Absolutely. Um, the, the ones that we sponsor here okay. are, um, uh, 
the insiders tour, which is is for new buyers or people who are, um, as you mentioned, sort of maybe exploring um, new product categories. But but we really want the the new folks on this tour, and they're led by veteran designers who can who have shopped this market for years. And so those tours end up not only I mean they're not only how you move around High Point, but those tour guides are getting questions like, "Tell me about how you talk to your supplier about pricing." Right. How do you, you know, uh, let's talk about lead times. Let's talk about, um, you know, uh, the, that storytelling. Let's, so it's not only take this bus to here, <laughs> which is important as we've talked yeah. about, yeah. but it's also, um, the business side of, yeah. of that. You're getting the and scoop. So you're getting the inside you're scoop. You're getting the inside scoop. It's, it's why we've, um, but you have to sign up early. Those yes. fill up quickly. Um, and we, um, so we encourage you to, to watch our website. Once registration opens, those tours begin to, to fill out there. We also have some that are product specific. So, okay. um, there are some that, you know, if you, um, for example, uh, last market, we did something called vintage vibes that was for antiques specifically. Um, and we'll do sweet spot tours. We'll do tours that, um, that are really concentrated in a certain area or aesthetic, okay. so to speak. That's nice. Um, and so, um, and again, that helps, especially if people are, want to explore something new. Um, but also it's just a great way to see market or to maybe, be able to spend some time with a designer that you have connected with during, on social media and you think, you know what, I think I could learn something from them. Mm -hmm. And they're doing um, a product specific tour. Um, there's also other ways to um, kind of do that passively. Uh, we have style spotters. So we have okay. folks who um, are um, designers who are moving throughout market and who we are following their journey as they spot product in, uh, in different exhibitors, um, showrooms, and who are then um, curating that back to the market as a whole, um, which is a great way to follow market. Um, our Instagram takeovers, all those things that really give you an insight. Um, maybe if you um, didn't get on a tour or you don't have the time, we, most of our tours we have half day and full day tours. Um, and so uh, let's say you don't have time to devote to that. There are other ways to sort of passively get some of that same information as you're watching these designers move right. through market and spot product. Um, some other areas that are um, new in the last uh, few markets that, that we think are pretty exciting is our Diversity Advocacy Alliance, mm. which is our group that um, is concentrating uh, on increasing diversity in in-home furnishings and specifically at market. Um, we've been doing tours and also shadowing um, mm. of some designers who are uh, BIPOC designers um, or uh, who um, are are maybe doing tours of other um, of showrooms who specifically have have uh, BIPOC friendly programs or who are owned uh, BIPOC owned or those kinds of things. So uh, th there's something for everyone, right. I guess. Visit that tours page and just sort of see how um, the timing aligns and your interest, but never hesitate to sign up for one of those. Here's also my tip. Here's the secret behind the scenes. Here we go, okay? folks. Here we go, folks, <laughs> behind the scenes. So we really encourage everyone to sign up. But let's say you decide to come to market late and you go to that tour page and it's full. Um, you can get on the waiting list, but you can also come to where that tour begins. Most of them will start at the point on Commerce Avenue. And if someone doesn't show, you can slide into their space. Ah. And so it's not a guarantee, but right. if you have a few minutes... To right. come by, you'll see where the tour starts. And if someone is not able to, let's say somebody couldn't make it, didn't set their alarm clock that morning, <laughs> some reason they didn't make it, um, we love for those tours to be full. Yes. Those guides are really prepared uh, to take a full group. Right. And so occasionally, you if you lucky. get signed up, you can get lucky. You get bumped up to first class. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You get the big seat. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. <laughs> That's good. I didn't realize that that was a thing. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and to you said, it's not a guarantee, but you never know. Right? No, but you never know. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And then the, so, so the thing is, there is, there needs to be 
look, you're, I, I've said to designers, you're either going to do one of two things. You're either going to just roll around like a rumble, bumbleweed for the couple of days and be okay with that. And yeah. whatever yeah. you discover, you discover. And whatever you miss, you miss. And whatever. It's not right. my, my preference. You're leaving your business. You're leaving your family. You're paying for planes, trains, automobiles, and houses and hotels. Right. It's not my preference. But you can go if you go with no expectation and anything can delight you. You can because you're going to get delighted. You're going to run into a panel. You're going to run into Absolutely. a showroom. You're going to run into something. But the better way is to have some kind of plan, some kind of some loose, kind of loose idea, yes. right? And the thing is, is that I've noticed that designers will do a mix of mm -hmm. educational panels and showroom specific to, you know, something doing with their business. And then I've also noticed, I've, I had a lot of designers tell me that I do go twice a year. I, every fall, I do panels every spring. I do shopping or vice versa Yes, because they want to compartmentalize it in their brain. And if something happens with the panel and it goes and everybody's talking and then they're all going to go to the next panel, they don't want to be like, I have an appointment with a sales rep. Right. Right. But, but that is also a way that the people that you follow, whether it be me or Corey Damon Jenkins or whoever else is doing uh, some activities at High Point, you know, you might get brought to a pa to a showroom that you never would have put on your list. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the thing. Forget what we're going to teach you. We're going to do our best to teach you something. But I've had designers say to me, oh, my God, I'm sitting here waiting for your panel. I love this showroom. I never yes. knew it was here. And I'm absolutely. like, oh, great. You know, I mean, that's the whole point of bringing a panel it to a showroom. Absolutely the whole point. And uh, it's absolutely the point of discovery that yeah. we really want designers to, and I love the idea of doing education one market and then shopping the next. There's probably, um, you know, a lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of value in, as you said, compartmentalizing those things, especially if you are a designer who needs those CEU credits. And that's yes. a big part of why you're coming to market. You can, you can get those while you're here for free in most yeah. cases. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so it is a good way to make sure you're, you're nourishing that side of your business as well and getting what you need. We talk about a three-legged stool here. We talk about product education and networking mm. because, um, you know, that, that networking piece, we've talked a little bit about Luann, but, um, the relationships. And I know that that's something that's very important to you that I've, I've, um, in, in listening to your past podcasts and a lot of your education, really talking about the importance of those connections and meeting people who can help your business. Um, this is the place to do it. Yeah. Um, this is where you find your tribe. This is um, 13 blocks of people who care about the same thing you do. Yeah. And, um, and we hope that you take the time to meet someone on a bus or as you're sitting beside them in a showroom cafe or, um, or on that airport shuttle. Um, you know, we, we hope that you have those conversations that, um, that make your business better. A lot of times mm. you're learning something from someone that you didn't anticipate and can, can change how you view something. Yeah. I, I am huge for that. Like I get that a designer is coming to high point to shop for furniture. I mean, I do, it's not lost yeah. on me, sure. <laughs> but I, I, there's, there will, no one will tell me that there isn't value in a whole different way to your business that if you do spend three days doing panel discussions and, you know, all the things, because the truth of the matter is, is it isn't just the panel discussion. It is that component of sitting, you know, if you're there to see Erica Ward speak, yeah. right. And you're like, Oh my God, I've been following Erica Ward. I watched her on Instagram. She's amazing. You know, yeah. and you're sitting there, the person next to you is like, having that same, same thought, thing. Yes. You know? And so you like kind of bond over that yes. and you can't not know where that leads to where, right. you know, we had a clip in our doc in my docu series where it was the funniest, crazy thing. We did power talk Friday down in high point um, in the string and splinter. And yeah. my power talk Friday is a one day coaching event. And um, 
it was the year that I did 2 million plus only businesses. And wow. we are there from 8.30 in the morning till 5.30 doing business. Then we, we break for an hour. Then we come back and we do cocktails and dinner, right? And we're together all day. But there was 24 people at that Power Talk Friday. And so I've got different roundtables set up all day. And what we do is we do aha moments at the yeah. end of the day. We're like, what did oh, I yeah. learn? Yeah. And Megan Moulton gets up. Now, at this point, Megan Moulton is is every bit of who Megan Moulton is. She is like right. this powerhouse. She's got this great business. She's got this e-commerce. She's got all the things. And she's been with us all day working. And she gets up and she looks over at Michelle Morgan and she's like, you know, I want to say to you that my aha moment is, and she starts to try and talk and Michelle starts screaming. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And we're all like, what's going on? And Megan keeps trying to say, I want to say, and she's like, oh my God. And I'm finally, I'm like, Michelle, shut up. Let her talk. Right. <laughs> and That's great. Right. And Megan goes on to say, that I came to my first high point market five years ago and I sat down and found myself sitting next to you and I asked you a question because whatever it was, the thing I didn't know, and you turned and you answered me and then you spent time just yes. talking with me. And yes. then I asked you another question and then I asked you another question and she said, and you probably spent 20 minutes just talking with me. Yeah. And she said, and I just thought to myself, that woman, one day, I hope to be as successful as her. Oh, wow. And here she is five years later, both yeah. of them multiple million dollar businesses sure. in the same business mastermind. And it's all the high point thing. And so- right. You, 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 you look and you can be in a Facebook group. You can meet yes. your designer friends. But like when you come to market, it's when you take it from, hey, you're nice. You gave me some advice on Facebook or I emailed you offline and you answered me to right. that real level of support. And I can actually call you now because it is lonely to be. A, a, most designers are CEOs of yes. by themselves. Right. They don't right. have a team of 20 people. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yes. And so I, I love, like, I miss it. I like, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Let's go. absolutely. Let's go see our people. <laughs> absolutely. And I think, you know, making sure that you are embracing that while you're here is important yeah. too. And making those connections and not feeling like, like, Yes, we want you in showrooms and we want you purchasing product, but at the same time, finding ways to improve your business is, is paramount. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, and doing that with people who are like-minded and who probably share in a lot of the same struggles and who maybe have, have solved the problem that you're grappling with. Yeah. Um, I mean, where else do you find that? No. You don't because you go yeah. back to your office. That's right. All by yourself. Right. Doing your thing. You right. know, you know, half the time figuring it out the long way. The right. other half the time, you know, doing it the wrong way. You right. know what I'm saying? And it just and I just I love that opportunity where if you admire somebody or you believe in what their business philosophy is or they're going to teach something that you need to know, you know what? You might just find a new showroom. You right. know, you just might. You might walk in there and be like, huh. Who would have yeah. ever thought of right. this showroom? And right. so I do, I always appreciate the showrooms that are willing to host us yes. because it's the, and they roll out the carpet, man. Right. Do they roll out the carpet? Yeah. Right. Yes. I mean, the, I mean, the food that, and the drinks and absolutely. the hospitality, it's crazy. Well, and even the merchandising, like I'm always amazed at, you know, this product is going to look the best it's going to look. In April and October in the high point. Like that is the pinnacle of, I, I'm always um, in awe of how things are put together. And and again, as a designer, as a retailer, you come away going, okay, now I get it. Mm -hmm. Now I understand why that product was developed the way it was. Now I see how, how the person who designed that product meant for it to be shown. And, um, that's huge again, yeah. and being able to communicate that to the end consumer, yeah. um, it's going to look better here than anywhere else. Yeah. 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 And I love that component that you just mentioned, because that is also extremely important is when you take the time to go into the different showrooms and you have the conversations with the sales 
um, staff at the different showrooms, you do learn the language of what you need to yes. say to your client, right? Mm-hmm. You can't just say, here's a pretty sofa. It's 15 K. Like, right. like, I, you know, I can tell you what, Nagara is going to look at you and go, you could take that sofa back. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, right. I don't need a $15,000 sofa. Right. 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 But if you can tell him the story of the craftsmanship right. and how it's built and yes. why it's 15000 because it's not 15000 just arbitrarily. Right. Exactly. It's there's a reason. That, yes. Right. There's a right. reason. And until you understand that reason, how can you sell it with confidence? Right. Absolutely. And, and getting that information from the source, I feel yes. like, and at the point that, that you're making a decision, whether you're going to present this to your client or not, you're going to hear things that resonate that you think, okay, that maybe I can me. sell them the $15,000 <laughs> sofa based on what this person just told me. I think that's going to resonate yeah. with my client. And so you're able to make those decisions kind of while you're in it and while you're, um, you're, you know, standing in front of the person who helped design that product. That's right. Um, and, uh, there's, there's no, um, there's no better time to really, it also gives you the opportunity. Like I'm setting aside this time to make this part of my business better. I'm setting aside this time to hear the stories, to understand the product, to, Um, understand what customization means in this showroom versus this showroom. Right. And it, um, you know, we're all so busy. I, it's hard for me to hear. um, We reach out to designers and, and to buyers. um, If, if you've registered for every market for the past five or six years, and, and we know at what point in the cycle you do that, and we haven't heard from you, we're probably going to reach out to you and say, Hey, did you forget? Did you know that it's free if you do it before you get here? Like we want to make sure you're taken care of, but it's so hard for our team when they make those calls and you hear from somebody, I just don't think I can get away this time. I know. know. Or I have too many projects or, you know, life happens. We get it. Um, Things happen and you can't get here, but you know, you hear kind of the pain in their voice that I'm going to miss a high point. I think I heard that in yours, Luann, about last market. So, and you, um, you know, you, you want them to understand that, yes, you don't have to be here every time, but when you can, it's worth it's worth the investment to be here. It is. I, I, you know, it's funny. The first couple of times I went, Vin hadn't been there. And, yeah. you know, so here it is. Okay. You know, I get yeah. invited to, you know, do different things down there and I go down there and I'm doing some panels. And of course now I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm like, yes, like a high point right. market bug. I've got it. I, I right. get it. I love it. You know, blah, blah, blah. It's valuable in all the levels. And I think it was like the third time he's like, wait, you're doing this again. <laughs> right. She just went, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, yeah. wait, wait, I'm like, yeah, this yeah. is every spring and every fall, every spring and every fall. Is that really yeah. necessary? I'm like, yeah. It is. Yeah. And then he came one time and he was like, oh, I get oh, it. Oh, yeah. Now I get it. Yeah. 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 It is. It's a very um, special experience. And I have to tell you, I've been to other markets. I'm a fan of going to markets. Sure. You know, I, I am. Absolutely. But there's something crazy special about this place. <laughs> um, we love to hear you say that. Yeah. And we, you know, while we love our other market friends, yeah. um, you know, because again, we're really in this because we care about this industry a lot. Yeah. And I want people to to be able to, to uh, nourish their business the way they need to. But we work very hard to make sure that um, on the lips of, every designer is that this is a special place and that, and that we're really thinking through, um, our team spends a lot of time journey mapping, um, talking about from the minute you make the decision to come to high point or you're making the decision, what helps you do that? I don't know if folks have recognized, but if you're, you're on our list and we're emailing you, uh, your emails look a certain way until the point you register. And then kind of the content changes because we move from trying to get you to register to trying to get you to attend. And so we want to make sure that we are talking to you about the right things at the right time, delivering that content because, um, we do want to be that place. We want to be that place that you open that email and you see something and say, 
okay, well, I, I can't miss know. this. <laughs> I can't miss this, you know? Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a very, it's a very worthwhile experience. And I challenge anybody to be able to go once and not go back. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Know? Yeah. And, yeah. and, and we hope if you go once and you feel like you didn't do it the right way that you'll let us know. Yeah. Again, that team of advisors are here in our office as well. We answer every phone call. 869-1000, every 336-869-1000, every time the phone rings, it's answered um, by a real human being who knows something about this market and our city, um, because that part is important to us. If you're picking up the phone and calling, you need something. That's it. And, That's it. Um, and so uh, we hope that if you came and you were like, you know, I heard Luann talk about this and she interviewed Tammy and there seems to be like a part of this I didn't get. Yeah. Call us. That's yeah. what we're here for. I love it. I love it. I love it. I really do. And I'm looking forward to being yeah. there this fall as we're Yes, we're glad you're coming back. Yes. I missed one in eight I know. years. Look at one. That. I know. I know. <laughs> you know, it's sort of how I was um talking to a colleague this morning about um every once in a while we sort of reminisce about the one market that was canceled for COVID. Oh yeah. Spring yeah. of twenty twenty yes. was the first time a market had been canceled since World War Two. Whoa. Well, I have to tell you, I'm going to tell you what too now. Okay. Because that year, you know, when the world closed down beginning of March, you guys are in April. Yep. And one thing like in February, I remember I had a speaking engagement in New York yep. city, like the yes. end of February and every party was like, should we do it? Should we not do it? Right. And the organizers were like, and I'm like, look, you know, like I'm like, I'm a gamer. I'm like, you know, I mean, look, I'm coming right. if you want me to come like whatever. Right. Right? right. But when one, like you're hearing about the other things in the world, closing their events. And this is like bonkers. But when you guys close high point, I was like, Oh wait, it's a real thing. <laughs> I know. I know. And that was so hard for us because the I industry imagine. needed a market. I you know, even we, we were selling furniture, you, you know, our exhibitors were selling furniture like crazy. And so, you know, you canceled spring of 2020, but the minute we canceled it, um, I, I kid you not, I was on the phone the next day with our governor's office talking to his team about how do we have an October market? Yeah. And they're looking at me like I have three heads. Like, no, I'm sorry, like lady, like, I got a national you? emergency. I exactly like this is a pandemic. And you're, I'm like, no, but you don't understand. Consumers are buying furniture in ways they never have before. I need our buyers and sellers to get together. We have to do this. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, Three I was at that fall one. I that right fall there. market yeah. was crazy. 3,000 temperature checks a day. Oh, my God. I mean, and, um, you know, the, the things that we did to have a market was amazing. And then, you know, the next spring we postponed. And then we had a nine-day market, you know, because we tried to spread everything out. I mean, this team, uh, talk I about logistics. That. I forgot about that, the nine-day Do you remember market. the nine-day? Oh, I mean, God. we talked about that this morning. It's like we never want to do that again. No. I mean, it was, you guys must have been exhausted. We were exhausted, but at the same time, I mean, this industry needed yes. high point. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember you had to buy zones. If you were some yes. part of the country, yes. you could only come these days you and other part of the zone. world. Yes. You could come in these days. <laughs> I mean, it was I crazy. All about that. I forgot all about yes, that. Yes, yes. We hope we don't have to do that again, oh, Luann. But, no, but you but were like, that, I was like, oh, this is a real thing. The country yeah, this is, is yes, in trouble. Point the world is in trouble. World World trouble. Two, it's a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. Awful. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, we didn't do a lot of talking about we did through the stories express the logistics that your team pulls off, but it really is a remarkable machine. I have run, I run my exciting windows conference with my husband and our team yes. twice a year. Yeah. You know, it's a hundred you know. people. Yeah. It's a hundred people. Still. Yeah. yeah, it's 100 people, right? Like we live, it's 200 people. I like 300 people, whatever it is. And I'm just like 80 to 100,000 people like twice a year. It's beyond my comprehension. And I don't, I, I'm going to tell you, I don't think I have ever heard anybody complain at any point when I've been at high point. Actually, when I'm thinking about that now, like typically you get that many people in a space and like, you know, the food here, this or the, the bus ride that, but like 
actually, I don't think I've ever, ever in thousands of conversations, you guys pull it off. You do. It's crazy. I I so appreciate you saying that. And our team um, works very hard. We don't, we, we do fall down every once in a while. I've just never seen or heard of it. Uh, We do fall down every once in a while. It's how you get back up. I think that, um, you know, that makes the difference, but um, you know, really just valuing what this event brings to our city and to this industry. Um, you know, we have, we are, we are 12 full-time people, um, with an army, but I say that, uh, but twice a year I grow to about 250. Yeah. Um, All those nice people that are willing to drive you to Trinity. Are are making this thing happen. (laughs) Um, I could not do it, you know, without those folks really, giving 110% twice a year to make this thing happen and, and always asking what else can we do? It is so Um, pervasive. It's so obvious and so much the culture, 1000%. Yeah. And that, and that's important to us and, and important that, um, you know, if, if someone said once that if you all as attendees, I'll put you all in this category, if you can get to high point, move around, have a productive experience, get back home, sit down at your desk and say that was worth it. And you never had to think about all the things that it took to make that happen. We've done our job. That's the truth. That is the truth. Because we are a hard market to work. We, we know this. Mm -hmm. And so it never um, feels like it though. You really, you really have succeeded in making it not feel difficult. I have to say. That's, that's amazing to hear you say that because I think we, um, we, we acknowledge that and, you know, try to do everything we can to, to, to make sure it's as smooth as possible. Yeah. Yeah. In my experience, it's either one of you is around to help (laughs) or there's a designer around to help. Sure. Yeah. I've, I've looked right at designers like, I am supposed to be, I don't know how to get there. (laughs) <laughs> they're like come on come, come, come here Luann yeah. come here like, Let right me help. I'll, I'll take right. you like I'm like where is EQ3 anyway <laughs> <laughs> exactly they were your last market yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Right. And, and it's like that and it's always somebody is just like come on let's go I got yes. you let's figure this out absolutely you know, it's absolutely. fun it's fun you do a special thing Tammy my hat's off to you it's a thank crazy you. job <laughs> thank you it is a crazy job but I love every minute of it oh well, you're good at it and you're so whole team everyone I've ever met on your team is is really just aces thank so, you yeah thank congratulations you. and thank you for being here today with me to talk about it I appreciate that absolutely this has been so much fun we have quite a lot of industry events to choose from, right? But there is a reason why High Point Market brings in 75,000 plus visitors, as we learned. It is more than the fabulous furniture, although that is not to be underestimated. These showrooms go out of their way every market to create an experience for you that is both efficient and enjoyable. And I would say, as you visit the showrooms, speak to the reps, to the showroom managers. And by speak to them, I mean, look in their eyeballs. And just for a moment, consider all the work they did for you for a single week and that they do it two times a year. Acknowledge it. I'm sure they would appreciate it. I mean, wouldn't you? High Point must be experienced to get it. The people, the panels, the connections, the conversations, High Point is the kind of place where you can stumble into the next big thing in your business, whether it's a vendor that uplevels your designs or sparks new ideas or a networking connection that creates value for years down the line. We will link in the show notes the docuseries where Megan Moulton explained her chance meeting with Michelle Morgan five years earlier, a completely green, brand new interior designer who, because of the kindness of Michelle, a seasoned designer, was inspired and empowered to keep going forward one foot at a time despite her fears of the unknown. Look, our industry can feel big at times, but it's also small and powerful community. And when we go to the events, when we're interacting, learning, growing, connecting, well, it's like I said in the docuseries, the strength of your business is in the relationships and relationships are nurtured with text and emails, but they are built in person. 
and High Point Market is designed specifically to create these opportunities. The chances for discovery, the, the advisory, the tours, and to this level of service that they provide for each of us who attends, I mean, frankly, it's remarkable. You have to feel it. You have to see it. Because when you're there, you do feel it and you do see it from the moment you arrive at the airport to the moment you leave and every moment in between. Maybe you've considered going, but you're hesitant to make the investment. Maybe you haven't been clear on what you really can get out of it. Maybe you think you're too early in your business. Maybe you think you're an introvert who would rather believe there's no value in events with so many people at them. Maybe you have your other reasons for not going. But I want you to consider today the benefits that Tammy talked about. Number one is getting the chance to hear firsthand from vendors and understanding what it takes for the furniture to be made. See, when you understand the quality and the workmanship that goes into something, it makes it so much easier to convey that value to your end user consumers, right? Second is interacting with industry peers, just like Megan Moulton did with a colleague who is more seasoned and further down the line from her. Or... Maybe you might have the opportunity at Next Market to be like Michelle Morgan, helping and inspiring another designer to pursue their dream and to help them learn and discover the best things about High Point. Maybe it's a panel discussion on finance or branding or process that unlocks an aha, an aha for you, changing the trajectory of your business. Maybe it's strengthening a relationship with a particular vendor that ultimately leads to a product design or licensing like so many of the designers have come on the show to tell us about. Melanie B. and Kravit Inc., Kate Lester and Jay Poor, Cheryl Luckett, Luckett and Wildwood, Jesse Carrier and Mara Miller with Visual Comfort, Century Furniture, and Lee Jofa for Kravit. So many of these opportunities came out of their building personal connections. Not a single chance meeting, building a relationship. We'll link all of those episodes in the show note. Bottom line, High Point Market is a huge opportunity, both for you as an individual and for your business. And I'm going to tell you, there's another episode I want to link for you. If you are an introvert who doesn't feel confident networking, I recently sat down with Katie Decker Erickson on her podcast, Colorful Conversations, and I shared tips on this very topic of networking and navigating navigating in-person events. Take a listen, and I'm sure it will help you in your strategy of, you know, going in and just figuring out what to do when you're not, you know, walking in and feeling like you know everybody. All right. I say it over and over again. In every business, the greatest opportunities come from relationships, the relationships with your clients, your vendors, your circle of community and family, and your circle of your industry community. A new friend at High Point could be the source for your next collaboration, referral, or opportunity. You just never know who will be the person that brings something special to you or teaches you a lesson you didn't even know you needed. You know, the thing is, I think about it. I don't know when, but one day I will not be podcasting or speaking or moderating panels. But, you know, somehow I think I'm still going to go to High Point. <laughs> Like I could just see me looking at the Nagara and saying, yeah, I'm going to high point. He's going to be like, you're 80 years old. What are you doing? I'll be like, I miss my friends. So I have to say, I think this because the experience of being there is just that special, right? So if you do go to high point, always, please always look up the panels that I'm either on or moderating. And please always, always introduce yourself to me. Who knows what, what we might miss if you don't do it, okay? So thank you, Tammy, for joining me today and for running such a first-class operation. I cannot even fathom all the balls in the air. So, and thank you for listening, for showing up today. Now, please share this episode with a designer friend who's been on the fence about going to High Point Market and make a plan to go together. Decide to be excellent. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining me today. This podcast is a production of Luann Nigara Inc. If you want to know more about me, my books, or Luann University, go to luannnigara.com. And if you are interested in having Window Works help you with your next window treatment or awning project in the New York, New Jersey metro area, go to windowworksnj.com to learn more. Have an excellent day. Thank you.